Hi and welcome to the latest Tanglewood video. In this video I'd like to show you some crystal art projects that Karen and, been, Karen and Paul have been doing whilst their day centres and Tangled have been closed. In this video we'll show you just how simple it is to do crystal art. Basically if you can hold a pen you can create some super things and anybody of any age can do this. It's not only fun to do but it's also very therapeutic and you can do as little or as much as you want at any one time. Now I'm going to show you what comes in the kit. This is currently a 30 by 30 and it's called a flowering peacock. As you can see this one hasn't been started yet so you will receive this a 30 by 30 canvas and as you can see on the table there's a variety of different colours some crystal uh, glitzy crystals and some are plain crystals. Each packet you see on the table will have a, num a letter and on that letter you would then open the packet and look for that letter on the canvas and you'd pop the relevant colour and crystal on to the colour of that crystal on the canvas. Also in your crystal art package you will receive um, DIY instructions of how easy and simple it is to do. You will receive two pens which we will pop on glue onto your little two extra pieces of glue here that you get. You'll get some empty plastic packets to pop your crystals in that are left over. You will receive two trays as well which your crystals will go into once you open them from the packet. You drop them into the, the crystal tray and then we will move on to the next stage. Now as I mentioned, this one was also finished first, started, and this is a completed one. So as you can see, this is before and this is after. So when you put them on the wall, as we will show you later, they become very sparkly and it is beautiful be and so lovely to see on a daily basis. Wherever you want to put it in the house, you can. I hope you like that one. So this is before, this is after. Now. We're going over to our, our helpers today. We have Paul here, who's working on the Butterfly and Orchards canvas, which is 30 by 30. He's virtually finished this kit. He's let, doing the letter R with his flamingo pen. So Paul, please put, some, uh, please put a crystal onto your pen and then pop it onto the relevant letter where you find, which is R. So Paul will look for the next R on the canvas and he will pop it down. Pop it onto the canvas ball, please. Pop it onto the uh, to the canvas. We yeah, finish. Just do you want to stop the video? As you can see, Paul uh, has got his. Okay. As you can see, Paul has got his pen, his flamingo pen, ready, and he's got the letter R, which is a light pink. And he's going to pop that on to the canvas. He's looking for the next one, finding the next letter R and popping that on to the canvas. And he'll do that again to all the letters of the R are found on the canvas. And then he'll move on to his next packet, whatever colour he chooses to do next on that particular canvas. Thank you, Paul. Now we're going across the table to Karen and she's working on a 21 by 25 lighthouse project and she's currently doing the D's. So she's doing D's and picking up on her rabbit pen and looking for the next D and she will pop it onto the canvas and then she'll find the next one. So look at her concentrating and she's going very, very nicely and picking them all up one at a time. Sometimes it doesn't pop on the pen straight away so you have to just pick it up again, but that's okay. There we go, one at a time. There we go. And that's basically crystal art in a nutshell. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take you around the front room of Karen and Paul's house. This one is an 18 by 85, 18 and that is a seahorse which Karen did. Next one is a 30 by 30 and that's a friendship cottage. Jeff did that one. Next one is birds and berries up and that was one that Paul did before Christmas. Top of the range up there is a snow tiger, tiger. 
and that's 30 by 30. Down, if you come down, you'll see a lovely blue glitzy car, which Karen did. In the middle, we'll all recognise this man. That was Elvis, and Paul did that one. It's absolutely beautiful. The one down before, down below, is a hummingbird, and that's a 40 by 50, which Jeff did. The bottom one here is a face of a skull of a, on a notebook. So Paul actually got the notebook and we've cut the uh, front page out and that's looking on the wall and that's full of beautiful colours, shapes, teeth, all different varieties of crystal art. That's one of my favourites because I love the colour. Above you'll see the Twani the R and this is a 30 by 30 which looks absolutely beautiful, which is what Paul did. Above is Mystic Aura, which is another new one from Crystal Art, which yet again Paul did. That one is not a full one, but that's called Partial. So you see all the different colours and they glitz and, and shine throughout different times of the day. Above, you've got the Snow Leopard, which is one of my favourites, and that's a 30 by 30, which Paul did. And I love the power of his eyes looking at you because it's like he's looking at you straight in the face. Onto the next part of the wall, we have up the top, we have Stony Creek, which is a 40 by 90, which Paul and, Car uh, Paul and Jeff did together. You can see it looks absolutely beautiful. To the left of that one is Secret Garden, which Paul and Car uh, Jeff did as well. To the right here, We've got an absolutely beautiful one that Paul and Karen had personalised, which is a 90 by 65. And this was a picture taken last year in their back garden with their beautiful dogs, Candy and Katie, as you can see. And if we just zoom into Paul, you'll see that the picture is just an incredible resemblance of both Karen and Paul. And what's done here is you actually can send in a photo to to Crystal Craft Buddy and they will actually send it away and uh, get it pro uh, done for you and then they send it back to you and then you can just pop in the crystals. This one took 12 days to do and there was three of us working on it and it was a project that we couldn't put down till it was finished. This one here is called Jungle Gathering and that's 90 by 65 and this is what Paula and Jeff did as well. To the left here we've got a uh, the rose cottage at the top, which is what Paul Jeff did, and that's the 30 by 30. Down below, we've got the riverside cottage, which is another one that Jeff did. Down below here, we've got uh, the owl, we've got the torchlight, we've got cats, and these are ones that Karen did. Now, they're in a beautiful frame and up on the wall as well, but they're just down here at the moment. Here we've got cats, we've got Westy dogs, we've got unicorns, we've got wolves, we've got polar bears, and this is a smaller flowering peacock, which is what Karen has done as well. Here, what we did for Christmas is we bought some LED lights, and these are little stickers that you can also buy separately, which what Karen has done. Karen has done the whole range of crystal art stickers. Do you want to shut this door? Um, down? Uh, actually. Now, can we start that bit again, Jeff? Yeah. Oh. Above here, you will see the um, farmyard family, which is one that Paul has just recently finished. He got for Christmas and is absolutely beautiful. The next one that we're going to show you is one that Paul done yet again is the Titanic. And this was a partial one and it's absolutely beautiful. Down below is the Italian cafe, which is a new one that Paul, uh, Jeff has just completed. And down below in the frame is a lovely one that Karen did, uh, which is a 21 by 25 flower vase set. Above, this is a new one that Jeff has just completed, a Japanese temple, which is absolutely beautiful too. The one below, again, is yet another one that Jeff has done, and this is on a, called a quiet evening inn. And the ones you've just seen are 40 by 50s. Above, this one is a swan, two swans, and it's an LED one. And this is one that Paul completed last year, which is absolutely beautiful. Down below, we're going to show you now um, different ones that Karen has done. So the first one she ever started when she did her crystal art was the butterfly. And then she did a, uh, the dolphin at the bottom. And now she's done pandas, she's done champagne um, sets, she's done tigers, leopards. 
To the left here, we've got another full frame here that Karen has done. This is all Karen's collection. Giraffes, woodpeckers, classic cards, rabbits, little birds, hedgehogs, foxes, teddy bears, horses, tulips, anything you want, Karen will do. And above is one that Jeff and the Kit children had done for me for Christmas as a present. So that's me holding Candy and Katie, which is absolutely beautiful. Now we've come to the end of our video today. So thank you for watching. And if you need, if you would like any more information, please contact us, contact Jeff on the website through the Contact Us page and he will put you in touch with me and I will send you the details of a lovely lady who looks after us and will send you crystal art. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you.